First of all, if you are actively looking for help to fix your relationship after a fight, that in itself is a great sign. It means that you care enough about your relationship to work on it, and to put your time, energy and effort into healing after a fight. Hello, my name is Lauren Richards, welcome to How To Make Relationship Work YouTube channel where we give you all the valuable information you need to take your relationship to the next level. Subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss any of our video. As a marriage counselor and couples therapist, I work with couples all the time who are concerned about the level of fighting in their relationship and want to heal their bond. Here are some of my top tips for how to not just fix your relationship after a fight but to really and truly, use the experience you both had to move forward and develop the amazing relationship you both want and deserve. Number 1. Do not withdraw emotionally. If you have just had a bad fight, you might be feeling worried about your relationship, wondering if you are compatible, or even if this is the beginning of the end. Let's stop, all couples fight. If you get too worried about the fight itself, it might lead you to withdraw emotionally and that's never helpful. Here's a reframe, fighting is actually a good sign, it means that you both still care enough to tangle with each other, try to be understood, and attempt to create change in your relationship. Number 2. Take a break. Do not try to fix your relationship after a fight in the heat of the moment. Neither of you is thinking clearly, and it's best to let it go until you can both calm down. Leave it until the morning, or go take a walk, and don't even try to repair your relationship until you are really and truly feeling calm. How will you know that you have calmed down enough to mend things? When you can shift gears from your perspective to theirs. Number 3. Hear and understand your partner. Remember, fighting happens because people are trying to be heard and understood but feeling invalidated by their partner. The quickest and most effective way to repair your relationship after a fight is to take a deep breath and let go of your agenda for a little while, and put your energy into understanding your partner's feelings, hopes, desires and perspective. Number 4. Don't be afraid to apologize. It's not unusual at all for people to say or do really regrettable things in the heat of the moment. Yelling, stomping, slamming doors or even name calling. When you get flooded with emotion, it really does turn off the part of your brain that is thoughtful, articulate and can anticipate cause and effect. Basically, when you get angry, it unleashes your inner trottler who does a smash and grab job on the emotional safety of your relationship. We all have the potential to do this. It can be tempting to reach for blame in these moments but that just perpetuates disconnection. Number 5. Use this as an opportunity to learn and grow. Fighting in a relationship can actually be extremely productive and helpful when it results in couples talking about important things they don't usually talk about, learning new things about each other, and finding new solutions to old problems. Relationships stagnate when people walk around holding in their feelings, not wanting to rock the boat, or doing anything that will upset the other. While this sounds virtuous and noble, it is actually a recipe for resentment and growing disconnection. Healthy, strong couples talk about things that bother them and work together to find solutions that feel better for both of them. Conclusion Is having a drag-out fight the very best way to do this? Well, no, but even the worst fight can be the doorway to creating new understanding and solutions in your relationship if you are willing to listen to each other, acknowledge the validity of each other's perspective, and agree that you both deserve to feel loved and respected in this relationship. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And be sure to press the notification bell to stay up to date. We have two new videos every Tuesday and Friday every single week.